Hello everyone, welcome to your website at Cash Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the nomination pool. Uh, they are now a live on um, Parkdot, and I'm going to give a tutorial to show you how to check the nomination pool. There are different ways to actually join the nomination pool. I'm going to cover both of them. And so the nomination pool, they are live. This is an article posted by Parkdot. And so some of you may already know that the uh, Parkdot, they recently published the Parkdot staking dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is the one that you can do the staking and uh, it's a, it's a really a very user friendly. So you can easily do those uh, uh, staking, those kind of things. Um, and then some of you may ask, like, why we need the nomination pool? And so if you remember, like, uh, before we have this one, when you want to, uh, stake, what you, you should do? You should, um, you should nominate, right? So your account need some minimum dot. So sometimes it could be 160 or 70. That's a lot of a dot like uh, for the staking. So a lot of, a lot of us uh, don't have that many dot. And so you have to use like, for example, you can use some third parties. Um, and the, the problem is uh, for those third party, you are going to take the risk. Uh, and the third party will will nominate on behalf of you. Of course, sometimes it's good. Um, you you just lose the voting power as well. Um, there will be just uh, pros and cons. And so the nomination pool is really the one like uh, now um, it, it will be useful for you. So this is the picture to show you the idea. So the nomination pool um, there is a one like, who will who will create that pool and who will be the nominator and um, to select the validator and um, so instead of uh, previously you yourself have to do all the research now there's only one like uh, the pool creator will do that and uh, all of us like uh, the second picture just show you like Alex, Bob all of us we just uh, bound to the same account and uh, as one unique uh, nominator and then select the validator. Um, for the rewards, it's going to split to all of us as well. And so join the nomination pool, that's another benefit is that you don't need to have a lot of thoughts now. And so the nomination pool, there are two different ways. The advanced way would be through the JS wanted. So I'm going to show you the go to the network staking and then then choose the pools and so now you can see all the pools right now there are 64 pools and the, there is a button join so you can just uh, click the join button and join the pool um, and this is just uh, the first one that you have to check the pool itself but the second one is uh, join through the um, through the the website i'm going to post a link as well so so this one like you can click the pool there's a uh, like 60 and the, the minimum bond is one dot and if you want to create a pool you need 200 dot so i'm going to click join and now you can see all the pool it's actually the same as what you see on the js wanted um and uh, and then now um you can find the one you like um so just just uh, check the one like you uh, you think they make the right decision. For example, uh, the chaos uh, dog they have one right, and if you like it, uh, and uh, then what you should do is uh, you can you can join, click the join, and then you can bond. The minimum is one, so I can bond five. So submit. That's it. Um, and then you can also add that as a favorite. Um, so so later on you can easily find it. You can also click this button view pool nomination so you can see this pool what kind of uh, nominators the uh, what kind of validators they actually um, find or they nominate um, and the, and then like you can check and uh, and find the pool that you like the most and then join the pool and um, so the cool thing about that again is like you don't need to nominate it by yourself because the minimum bond is quite high uh, and the user pool the minimum is just one dot so I think that's a that's a very good one like you should um, you should definitely consider you if you want to do the dot stake 
breaking. And so I basically just show you two different ways you can do that through the JS uh, extension or use the Polkadot staking dashboard. Um, and uh, I personally feel the Polkadot staking dashboard would be much easier. Um, that's one problem you should go with. Um, and uh, and then of course you can also do that through the JS wallet. Um, and I will and I also show you how you actually um, like check the pool, the details, uh, and then make the decision. And so so this is a new feature from Polkadot, and uh, I hope uh, this. Will would be a good uh, starting point for the dot staking and I would also expect more dot will be staked because now the minimum uh, staking requirement is only one dot so I guess more people can can do the staking uh, through the nomination pool uh, if you are interested you can also create your own pool but the but that, that one will need 200 dot um, so that's all for today's video. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.